Okay, guys, what's going on, man? This is Coach Sam, man. Um, Coach Diesel's not here today, man, and that's cool. Um, uh, so he had a class to teach this morning. So um, what's going on with emails, man, and um, people were asking about conditioning your knuckles. Now, here's the thing. There's so many philosophies and ideas on conditioning your knuckles. Everybody has their theory. Everybody has their opinion. And people are going to use what works for them. So I'm going to tell you what works for us and what we choose to do to condition our knuckles. Now, that being said, you got to recognize the head is the hardest part of the body. So when you're in street fights, when you're in any fight, if you're training professionally, if you're um, working as, in security or you're training your skills to be able to just protect your family, understand that hitting somebody point blank in the skull, okay, you run the risk of breaking your hand because one, people don't stand still. Two, the conditions, it may be dark, you can't see, whatever. And you fuck around, you catch them at the bottom part of your fist, that shit pushes in, you break your fucking hand, man. You're done. Or you fuck around and get a freak accident where you separate the top two knuckles, you're done. It happens. Shit happens. So what? You adapt, you go on, you survive. That's what, you fuck, that's what the fuck you do. So, that being said... Can you condition your knuckles? Yes, you can. All right, and it's not just the the, the the fact of trying to condition your knuckles. You have to you have to condition your forearms. You have to condition the wrist. You have to condition um, your grip strength, and that all plays an account to um, protecting your hand and not breaking your hand. And like I said, freak accidents happen. I don't give a fuck what you do. You hit your hand with the bottom part of this fucking hand, you will break it, okay? And the, or the chances are very high that you break it. So, um, and I know everyone wants to get into palm strikes. We got a lot of karate guys who like to get into palm strikes and that's fine. That's cool. I'm, we're, we got a video on that coming too. But we're talking about knuckle breaking right now and conditioning your hands. So here's what we came up with and this is what we like to do. So hope you enjoy. Here we have a, a thick piece of wood and we're just, you know, working here, hitting that wood, man, getting used to that force. Um, I mean, oftentimes, man, I mean, you're, you're, you're fighting guys in the street, man, and guys, obviously the head is the hardest part of the body and you want to be used to um, hitting hard objects. So oftentimes, you know, and, and everybody's philosophy is different, you know, um, I find hitting hard, object, hitting hard objects, it really helps with the conditioning of my knuckles. And I've broken my hand several times in street fights. But this is just good rhythm, good movement, um, just trying to condition those bones in the hand. And, and, and you'll never be able to completely avoid having a boxer's break, but this is just good condition. Here we're um, you know, also using the brick uh, wall, which is obviously a little harder than the, um, than the wood. Um, and see, these things aren't going anywhere. They're not going to move and give way like the heavy bag. And, um, you know, we can be, we're, we're conditioned with the way that we train. And you want to have the idea, idea in your mind that if I hit somebody in the head, which is obviously the hardest part of the body, um, I don't want to panic and I don't want to get, um, you know, discouraged, uh, if, if that in actuality happens. So this is why we use brick wall training also. Now, some of my favorite exercises right here, uh, these are the farmer's walks. Now, this is what's gonna help you with your grip strength. Um, having that strong grip, uh, whether it comes to grappling, uh, able to make a fist, farmer's walks. Um, you don't have to use heavy weight, you can just use light weight, and all you're doing is just walking up and down. Uh, it helps build the shoulders, back muscles, chest, uh, forearms, and having strong forearms, believe it or not, um, <laughs> helps with your punching. Um, being able to make a nice tight fist. Um, so this is just good training.